man like Martin Luther King should not be upheld for our children because his message was to be to us to integrate and to assimilate and to um, plea for acceptance. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to City. And I am Frank, this is Carl. And Carl, nice hey, to meet man. you. So you want to heal the world. More yes. importantly, your people. Yes. Especially from what the world's done. Yes. You know. And you do that by books. So you brought some yes. books. Can you uh, show me um, exactly like... Well, I have several books here. A um, couple of them, I think one or two I haven't read. I've read a couple. But this is a book that I favor a lot. Um, in the, I'm not sure if you guys know, the, uh, there's a community called the the conscious community quote unquote and in it a lot of black people like to refer to this book um it's called the title of the destruction of black civilization great issues of a race from 4500 bc to 2000 ad uh today they say common error you know a common error or before common error and the the um author is Dr. Chancellor Williams. You, yes. like, you like to think outside the box. Yes. Like yes. How, he's, how, he how he's done. Yeah, how he did. You know, just sit there and ask yourself questions. You know, um, a lot of us are, I like to say we're on autopilot. They you know, and social interactions are awkward. You know what I'm saying? Like, they are. Yeah. Even when people smile and say hello, you know, you, you know, you return, you know, you return the gesture, but it's not genuine sometimes. You know what I'm saying? You can actually feel, like right now it's a genuine, you know, genuine um 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 aura or vibe right now you know like right before you about to say hi to someone good morning or anything they just look instantly on their phone like it's just the best excuse to not say hi to you to avoid you to avoid yeah, someone avoid or, you know you're just yes. on their phone and looking up cat memes and stuff like that <laughs> instead of stuff like this do these books inspire you when you read it like, you're like i gotta go write something about this like no what books do help me with is um help me to to clearly think and so that I, I can clearly write and then I eloquently speak, you know, so and that goes the same with certain music. You know, before coming to do this interview, I was playing Rakim, you know, I didn't want to yeah. listen to, I didn't really want too much, you know, boom, boom, ruckus in my ear, you know what I'm saying? I want to sit down and actually listen to some signs, you know what I'm saying? Somebody drop signs. That's a, that's so, a, that's a throwback, right? Yeah, you know. A lot of people um, don't even know who Rakim is. A lot of people don't even know who Nas is. And so it's like, you know, those these are the godfathers. You yeah, know? they are. They you are you have to pay homage to the forefathers, you know what I'm saying? So, to understand why it is. You know, that goes back to foundation. Yeah, foundation. You, know, you understand so the foundation. Those are the forefathers of hip hop, you know, we just discussed. So, who are the forefathers of the people to leading up to the awakening for Africans? Like, um, well, you have some notable ones. I'll, I'm, I'm going to say this. Do not trust, do not put any heavy trust into any hero or heroine that um, Europeans propagate because uh, this is gonna hurt <laughs> well though okay Martin Luther King is one um, he was a docile man um, <clears throat> um, within cultures you have different perspectives on things and, and I, I noted one which is family you know, um, and within family you have manhood, womanhood, <clears throat> children, elders, etc., etc. This is in the African uh, culture. Um, as a man, the definition of a man for Africans was a protector. You know, um, I agree. They were the builders. You know, um, and a uh, 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 um, uh, a man like Martin Luther King should not be upheld for our children because his message was to be to us to integrate and to assimilate and to um plea for acceptance when the number one rule of of of, of nature is self-preservation so you're going against nature's law by 
saying this, that, and the third. And what's very, it's beautiful. Today is Robert F. Williams' born day. And he was a, a, a prominent figure um, prior to the civil rights movement. Um, <clears throat> he was a freedom fighter. And he has a book out, I wish I, I purchased it. It's called Negroes with Guns. And he was, he was a, 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 um, a, a chairman of the NAACP in Monroe, South Carolina, I may be wrong, or North Carolina. Um, he, 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 he got a lot of things done. You know, he integrated the pools. He, um, he helped integrate a lot of things. But his thing was, um, like many, um, like many African people at the time was, they didn't want to integrate. What they wanted was equal opportunity. They just wanted the same books. They wanted the same, you know, um, bus systems, et cetera, et cetera. Same water. You know, be able to drink, you know what I'm saying? So, and, and you know, Martin Luther King um, propagated a different ideology. So what's your opinion on Malcolm X? Um, wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this book, ah, oh, that is beautiful you bring this up. Um, well, a lot of people aren't familiar. A lot of people aren't familiar with Marcus Garvey, which is sad, but um, this gentleman by the name of Carlos A. Cooks, was a, a Dominican-born um, Garveyite. A Garveyite would be an individual who follows Marcus Garvey's um, philosophy, um, or is part of the UNIA, Universal Negro Improvement Association. But this gentleman right here, he um, he he is someone we should look up to instead of Malcolm X or El Haj Malik El Shabazz Omawale, as he and he changed his name <clears throat> because he um. Carlos A. Cooks advanced the ideology of the UNIA. Um, he created, he's the, when we say buy black, he's the one who created that term. Um, he had, he had uh, um, pageants for beautiful black women, natural hair only. Um, and you know, the darkest of the dark. You know what I'm saying? So we can um, gain self pride again. And this is during the 30s, 40s, 50s is when um, Carlos H. Cook was prominent. That was and, like this. The yes, 1930s, 40s, 40s in Harlem. And yeah, I never learned any and, of that. And this book they never, here, they never, they never publicized that. They never. And, and that's something I noted earlier. Do not trust anyone that Europeans propagate. They even propagate Malcolm X, even though they propagate him in and a negative like, yeah. light. It's because like him as like the under like as, as like the Malcolm. adversary. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Is, digging deeper will show you many things, you know. Um, don't look up to heroes. And, and what I'm saying, never. That's the thing. Adultery it can can is good and bad, you know. Um, you can't stop people from idolizing people. That's it, it started. It already the thought that thought already pre, was um, um, manifested itself into this realm or, or or dimension. So it's gonna forever continue. Like war will never stop. Yeah. War is here in the beginning of the time. It'll yeah. it'll never stop. It'll probably end it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like there's certain things that'll never end. But um the reason why I say propagate Carlos A. Cooks um instead of um Malcolm is because Carlos A. Cooks understood the role that religion played on the, the, the impairment of African consciousness. <clears throat> So are there like pictures or like places like oh. a website online where you can see like the pageants or what? what well, you can buy like? this book here, and I don't believe it has anything of his pageants. But you can go online and type on type in Carlos H. Cook's uh, beauty pageant, and you'll see pictures of women on the stage. Um, I'm sure people. This is all. I'm, I apologize. This is all happening in Harlem. You know, for people that know, oh, like, Harlem is um was the epicenter for like black consciousness intellectuals poets artists artists as in um, um painters you know come yeah, from yeah you're, this place you know um so yeah, come from ask, harlem when you ask someone what harlem is they think of it in a negative way because of what it was transformed into and and when you understand what what um what pride does um, um self-love does it it, it you you become exclusive instead of inc inclusive which is what an individual like 
um, Martin Luther King wanted. You know, he wanted to be included, and that does not show pride in oneself, you know, to be able to do for yourself. As I said earlier, the black woman took chitlins, you know, gunk, and we call it soul food. You know what I'm saying? So to be able to do that, we've always been that. But um, Robert F. Williams, yes, today is his born day. You guys should search him up, you know, a very prominent figure. And he was one who was against the, the nonviolent movement that the civil rights movement was pushing. He was in the a movement that is labeled the freedom fighter movement, you know. Um, it's just he, beautiful that people did this, and yet I don't really, never I had no recognition. They never trust me. It's, like, where'd you even find these books? Is if you go to Barnes one of my brothers, you, one of my like, brothers um, from Instagram. Like, like I said, um, there's like a group of six or seven of us, and we keep in contact. It's been like this for the past year and a half. I think two years. That's, that's you know. Good. So, and we share information. You know, obviously, I don't know it all. I'll never be able to know it all. the history that's been. Hidden. You know what I'm saying? So. He gives me something, or she gives. You know, we 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 um we put our brains together, and um, and find information. I want to find this. Like, it has a lot about Malcolm. It, there's a section in it in, in it about um Carlos A. Cooks. You can also buy that book, but that book is very expensive. Like I I found it for twenty five dollars. You know, um, on Amazon, but. Because, $25. yeah, and if you look at Twilight. Amazon right now, it's like $100, $200. Because um, Majority Press, the printing press that used to publish a lot of black um, scholarly works, has is defunct. So um, you have European, you know, um, um, or other, or other um, v I'll say vultures, <laughs> you know, um, taking advantage profiting off of our knowledge and that's another thing we have to become um we have to as at black african people we have to value our works you know um this book should not be a hundred two hundred dollars you know no to learn about this man it's, it's because we 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 don't we don't hold any value into what we create you know and that's why that that's the reason why i would not uh advise black children to look up to an individual like Martin Luther King or A. Philip Randolph or W.E.B. Du Bois or, or you know, um, Nelson Mandela <laughs> or um, there, there, there are plenty out there. You're one of the people that didn't get recognition. Like, they didn't, they, like you're more with the people that like... They, yeah, because those are the people who really fought for us. Yeah, I mean, the enemy would you not, to, yeah. you know, propagate your heroes. My father told me, um, I, I like he's a free thinker. You know, he 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 pretty much molded me into how I think or why I think the way I do. He's my foundation. Per se, my mother is um, Catholic Christian. She's also a thinker as well. But you know, she's she sways more to the religious side, and my father's more of a free thinker. So he would always, you know, allow me to question. You know, everyone knows in religion you're not supposed to question, you know. And as a child, I always had a problem with that. Yeah. You know, like, this is supposed to be a benevolent, you know, creator, you know, a God, entity, deity, whatever. And I can't ask you questions. Or the people, or your followers tell me, don't question you, like. And then you tell me to go to school and question to get, <laughs> you see the, like, the dichotomy. But it's just, it's very weird, you know? And you wonder how people actually do that. They don't question anything. <laughs> that goes back to, you know, how we how, how we function in this world and going back to autopilot. Well, here's a picture. They don't have a picture of his pageant. Here's a picture of him, um, a march. He he created the ANM, ANPM, I believe, African National Pioneer Movement. It was an extension of the UNIA, the um, organization Marcus Garvey created which is the Universal Negro Improvement Association. And Carlos A. Cooks actually, you know, spoken to Marcus Garvey. Um, and Marcus Garvey told, because one thing about um, Carlos A. Cook, he was labeled the undaunted one. Like, he didn't care. He made you uncomfortable with truth. And one thing that black people, African people, I, I, I always say black African so that we understand that we have a, a home, you know? Man, we're just not a... I know there's a lot of people say, oh, you can't just be a color. What's your nationality? You know what I'm saying? You're African. And just go find out where in Africa you, you possibly came from, you know? 
Although, like um, a friend of mine said, um, if you go to Africa, they're not going to recognize that you're not African until you start speaking. Then they'll be like, okay, this person's not uh, a Yoruba. This person's not, you know, a Khan. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, we, we can tell they're African American. Even by, I mean, by the way you dress, they'll probably point it out, you know, but until you start speaking, it's like, okay. So, so they understand, like, another thing, another, uh, another, um, piece of propaganda information that has been pushed is that African Americans don't like Africans or Africans don't like African Americans. I have online and in real life I've met beautiful African people who who one of the main things they always um stress is I'm happy that you 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 actually want to get into um your home, you know? Cuz that's hard to find. People don't look up stuff like that because we're, we're we're so stuck on paying bills we're so stuck on different stuff so we don't even see the obvious you know what i'm saying the um, important core you know um the soul you know um and so it, it, it we we miss certain things like for example libations libations is an old african tradition where they um they 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 pour water you know in in, in respects to the ancestors and we do that over here in America, you know. You pour beer. Know what I mean? The homies on the block, the homie gone, yeah, yeah. I'll pour it out. They and so it. subconscious, it's not even changing. Well, it is a changing. negative way, though. But it's, it's not negative. It's not negative at all. But I'd rather use water than beer. <laughs> but listen, it's not negative. This is the circumstance we're in. It's just that subconsciously we act African and don't even know it. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. We don't, African people don't put their elders in group homes. Yeah. You understand? Or black people at, we do that in the Americas, in the Caribbeans, Africans here. So right. it's like we're we're African. We act out African behavior. Not even knowing. E yeah. Even the name, even how we dance, the the you know like that's, that's our hairstyles, yeah. like it, it it all emanates from being African. Yeah. You know, and, and when you look up, you're like, oh, I was doing that this entire time. <laughs> you know, when when you <laughs> become like, when you start to like, dig, you man. become numb, like whoa, okay. There's even certain words like um. There's a word, like my ex is Jamaican, and most Jamaicans are from the Akan, the Akan tribe, or Akan family, I don't like to use the word tribe. Um, and there's a word, Ansani, or I don't remember, but it's spider. And in, in, in Patois, it's, it's the A word, I don't know how to pronounce it. And in the Akan language, it's the exact same thing. So it just shows you there's a connection through language. So if you find a connection through language, Psychologically, you're the same people, mm -hmm. you know. It's just that they got British English, and so you know, they speak patois today. Same with um, Haitian people. We speak Haitian Creole due to the colonizers, the, the French, you know. And then on the other side of the island, you have the Dominican Republic who speak Spanish because of the Spaniards who colonized them. So, and you can always find um, connections between languages, you know. Yeah, um, so you find a, link, a, a similar connection between Spanish and um, the language you just said? Um, no, Creole, Creole and, and well, 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 Patois and the Akan language. You know, um, it, well, you know, like Spanish is, it is a, it's, it's, mother script is Latin, if I'm not mistaken. So like Spanish, French. So you have these languages being um, similar or finding similar characters or words or, or, or expressions within them. And then... You as you look into the etymon or the etymology of words, which is like the root of the words, you can find out that. And as you study, you know, language and 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 and, and alphabets and writing or scripts, you'll see that. I don't want to say all, but a majority of languages stem from what we call hieroglyphics, or what the Africans call medunetur. Which is, you can you can roughly say Mother Nature or the language of the natures. Natures being like deities or you know gods per se. You know, so yeah, it, it's it's interesting as you continue to go back, you see that wow, I was doing this. You know, this is me. You know, you see yourself, and that's why knowledge of self is very important so, and you mentioned oh, and you okay. mentioned him to look, um, look up to him more than martin luther king right and, and people like oh, malcolm x carlos a cook born in dominican republic 
um, he was the, the, the one that Marcus Garvey upheld, you know, and said he's pushing the UNIA in the proper direction. So look, look, look into this man. You know, Carlos A. Cooks. You know about the slick writings and speeches of Marcus Garvey? Oh, Marcus Garvey, yes. It's um, his personal book that he written himself? Um, no, he did not write that. Uh, I believe his wife wrote a lot of this. Like, his wife did a lot of typewriting. But um, he had two wives. Both of them named Amy. So crazy. Right? Love that name, Amy. But, uh, yeah, he loved Amy. But, yeah, you'll learn a lot about Marcus Garvey in that book. When Africa Awakes. When Africa Awakes. Hubert Henry Harrison. Uh, I recently just bought that book. He was um, a, 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 an editor of Marcus Garvey's newspaper. He wrote a lot. A uh, very intelligent man. Very, very, very intelligent man, you know. Um, he, he he helped Marcus Garvey a lot prior to starting the UNIA. So you, if you want to know about Marcus Garvey, know about the people who influenced him and, you know, who was around him during the time. Wake Hubert up, Henry ladies Harrison. and gentlemen. <laughs> and then this is the destruction of black civilization. Yeah, we spoke about that earlier. Many you know. times. And, um, key, key book. And you mentioned this book about how it shows the things that Harlem did uh, yes. besides what you um, see on TV. Yeah, what they what they portray, you know. Yeah. Very. It has a lot of pictures, beautiful pictures to learn about people Black like J.E. Rogers. It's very beautiful. Black is you know, beautiful. A lot of these people, their children are still alive too. So. Oh, really? Yeah. You can, you can contact these people. No, I don't think they want to hear from me. <laughs> Specifically. Um, oh, Your Reason by Mwalimu Baruti. Um, it's a book going in detail of... of the European psyche, you know, uh, um, going in detail of their their culture, behavior, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you know, and distinction between African psychology and European psychology. Your reason. And this, I can't pronounce this. Um, kabuka. Kabuka. It's a Kikongo word meaning to remember. Um, it's ve it's very sh potent because you know there's another word by the name of um um. um Sankofa, which means to remember and go back. But this word, it makes you remember the, the, the hardships, you know, that we went through. It's very, it's very potent. But Kabuka, it, it makes you go through the middle passage, what our ancestors went through. And The Irritated Genie. I love that book. Um, it's on the Haitian Revolution by Jacob Carruthers. Very, very good book. Um, that's kind of hard to get as well. You know, it's out of print, you know. But if, if you're Haitian or you're interested in the Haitian Revolution, grab that book. So it's about just basically about the Haitian, Haitian Revolution. Revolution. And he speaks truth. Like, okay, yeah. Like, Toussaint Louverture is upheld. He's going to show you why he should not be. Yes. <laughs> I was about this one. Ah, Tony Martin, The Jewish Onslaught. I, per I recently just purchased that book as well. You can watch his lectures on YouTube, and he's going to go into detail how um, the, 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 the involvement of Jewish people in the slave trade Yes, very important man. And history. Uh, I bought this history of African civilization by E. J. Murphy. Um, messed up book. Yeah, I bought it thriftbooks.com, but good book. It goes into detail of many African civilizations. You know. And very last but not least, ah, African centered consciousness versus the New World by Dr. Amos N. Wilson. He's a get to know that man. Please watch his video lectures. Buy his book. Get to know that man. Well, this interview was know, yeah. very eye-awakening. Uh, definitely want to do my research. Uh, you have any one last message to the people out there, especially your culture in particular? Um, for those who don't know anything, who are just seeing this for the first time, uh, like, maybe I should go back. Never be afraid to question. Um, if you have someone who has different ideologies than you, you know, sit down, take it in. But like my father always said, go home and do your research. You know, you don't want to just take people's words. Um, and don't be afraid, you know, to learn. Don't be afraid to learn. Do not put a ceiling on your, your, your capacity to learn. Okay. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is City. To follow more information, this is T, uh, City underscore on Instagram. And this is Carl right here. Thanks for having Subscribe, me. Subscribe, especially on Thanks YouTube. Thanks for having me. travel more than people travel now it's yes. just now it's quick yes. easier yes and people travel less yeah you know the, the early hominids or humans or homo sapiens sapiens had to walk
I think, <laughs> you, I think because you know? of all you had in life at that time. Yeah, that's you know, you're hunting. Yeah, you, know, you, you don't got a job to go to. You literally, you literally <laughs> living day by day at that, that no time. Phone, There's no phone. There. Yeah. <laughs>